Today we're staying at one of Newquay's finest five-star hotels, perched high above Fistral Beach with commanding views across the Atlantic Ocean. We will take you on a tour of two of the rooms, show you some of the food on offer, as well as showing you some of the stunning views. Welcome to the Headland Hotel in Newquay, Cornwall. So today we are going to show you around two actual rooms here at the Headland Hotel. Uh, but first, let's take you a quick look around what's inside. You can see the traditional corridors here as well, looking absolutely amazing. Now, this is the main ballroom, which is like the lounge area. You may recognise it. This was actually used in the film called The Witches. So if you've seen that film, you may be able to picture some of it from uh, in this room itself. So quite a lot of nice seating areas here at the Headland as well. Uh, really relaxing place. They've got some smaller rooms as well um, that you can go into, like the library areas. Somewhere if you want to go and read a, a, a magazine or a newspaper, somewhere a little bit quieter. And then scattered around the place, they've got, um, well, for one, fantastic staircases. But this is one of the landing areas and they've actually got a model of Lego that someone's actually put together of the actual hotel. That's absolutely fantastic. We did a little video for you. So um, have a look at this, taking you around the actual hotel. This must have actually taken absolutely ages um, to build, but it's absolutely fantastic. And so uh, true to life as well as to what the, um, the hotel is actually like on the outside. We will be sharing with you some videos um, from and photos from the outside as well that we took whilst we was here. Also a bit more modern in the bar area as well. It's got a uh, different um, vibe to it and um, plenty of things to see here at the Headland Hotel. So let's go and check out those rooms. So welcome to one of the Fistral Suites here at the Headland Hotel. Coming in through the entrance then on the left hand side here you've got your tea and coffee making facilities. A nice little Nespresso machine just there. There's also a fridge a little bit lower down as well with some milk in. Looking across to the bedroom then, really nice setup really. Some A um, couple of chairs and a table and your bed and your bedside uh, tables there. Also a fantastic view over Fistral Beach which you'll see through the windows uh, a little later on as well. Uh, you've got your switches and your sockets each side of the bed so you can charge up your phones and things like that with a small TV and doors going through into the living room. Uh, we've got a travel cot there as well uh, on this occasion uh, for family that was staying um, with us. Also a bag stand there in the corner so you can unpack your case quite easily and dressing gowns and slippers provided as well with this uh, grade of room. So you get a bit of an idea of the view out of this window here um, over Fistral Beach. A bit of sunshine, it's about the um, only amount of sun I think we're due to get. It's forecast some really bad weather for whilst we're here, but it is January so uh, it's to be expected. Small desk there as well with a clock radio and the remote there for the TV. And then coming through into the living room area, uh, we've got the chest of drawers there and a settee over there in the corner. A nice picture up there on the wall as well and again some st stunning views across Fistral Beach um, from this uh, living room area as well. So it really is a really nice room. We actually had two, two uh, Fistral Suite rooms um, for family, ourselves and, and family and uh, we also moved rooms as well and we're going to show you around us um, another room um, which is quite special as well and it's good for storm watching so we'll, we'll show you around that uh, room in a short while. So coming through here then it takes you through into the uh, bathroom. They're all laid out a little bit differently but uh, in this one you've got the shower in the corner, a really nice decent sized bath as well. Really finished nicely as well with uh, the uh, plants there as well. And you've also got the controls for the shower before you actually get to the shower. So you can switch it on and uh, wait for the water to uh, get up to temperature before having to get in and uh, try and avoid the, uh, the cold water like you do in some showers. So really well thought through. Also the uh, non-slip mat there as well, which is really good to, to have in there. But yeah, really high standard to the, uh, the bathroom looking through there to the living room and the bedroom in the distance uh, two sinks and also a few toiletries uh, there um, for you to use as well 
and they got your you've got your toilet there your toilet tissue and the uh, waste bin but yeah absolutely fantastic finish to the rooms here at the headland hotel in newquay in cornwall And then back through here to the hallway and the door where we came in originally. And a last look here at the living room there. So welcome to the outside of the Headland Hotel. And it's pretty, pretty windy and stormy as you can tell. But it's not got as bad as it's going to get. Um, so we decided that um, we're going to move to a different room. They've got a, a room that we discovered that's actually on the fourth floor. It's the only room that they let out that's on the fourth floor. It's in the top of one of their towers. And apparently whilst the tiles around the outside of it are double pinned, they still rattle like, I don't know what, when the wind is blowing apparently so we're going to go and stay in there for a night and we're going to take you around that room as well so this is the west tower suite at the headland hotel in uh, newquay right at the side of uh, fistral beach and um, so we've changed rooms and we thought we'd try this it's quite a stormy uh, night forecast for this evening and uh, apparently you can hear tiles rattling on the roof and uh, you can already hear the, the wind uh, whistling through the windows so uh, we're looking forward to uh, seeing what it's like actually a bit of a different experience so uh, this is the twin room and double glazing on this one so we may well be staying in this one depends how bad it gets so that's the twin room and then you've got the uh, hallway and then through here is the little toilet not sure what the view's like out of here. I uh, just you see the roof space above the uh, hotel. So we're kind of on the third floor, but then up a staircase, so equivalent of fourth floor, and just one up at this level. And then opposite the toilet, you've got the main bathroom. So really nice corner bath there. I'll probably use that later on just to keep warm up here with the uh, wind blowing through. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a really good experience. And uh, we go home tomorrow, so even if we don't sleep uh, too well tonight, really not a problem, because we can catch up on sleep um, tomorrow, tomorrow night at home. So yeah, this is the, the West Tower, and we've also got the East Tower, which overlooks the car park. And this one on the west side overlooks the, uh, the ocean, which we'll see in a moment. So uh, nice rain head shower, and uh, nice modern tiling walk-in shower, all good. An electronic uh, little controller there so you can heat up the water properly before you actually step into cold water. So yeah, this is the main room, the main bedroom and like the little living room area. And already you can hear the uh, the wind, uh, wind whistling and uh, every so often you hear the tiles uh, rattling. So uh, really looking forward to tonight and uh, seeing what it's all about. Uh, staying here in the winter So let's take a look out the uh, the window. The sea's pretty uh, pretty rough today. Not as bad as it has been, but uh, some great views actually from right up here. Uh, Fistral Beach, just to the left. You can't quite see it from this uh, west side of the hotel. The previous room that we're staying in was on the south side, overlooking Fistral. Um, had a bit of wind noise there from outside um, the last two nights, but. Uh, not as bad as here and uh, there's the bed and you can actually hear the uh, the tiles rattling on the uh, roof kind of like in in the tower tower section but yeah fitted out really well and uh, we do generally like cooler bedrooms as it is so uh, I think it, this, this room is gonna be perfect for us and uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like and we'll let you know possibly during the night what it's like if we happen to be awake uh, with all the noise if not we shall uh, let you know in the morning or hint to it but uh, yeah that's uh, on the fourth floor at the Headland Hotel in Newquay in the West Tower so it's just gone uh, nine o'clock at night and the weather's not actually too bad at the moment um, 
wind gusts of uh, four to six miles per hour. Uh, you can still hear the um, tiles um, moving around a little bit and you can hear the wind blowing through the, uh, um, the windows a little bit, the, the whistle you can possibly hear. But uh, yeah, not, not too bad at all. So uh, hopefully it's as bad as, bad as it's gonna get. And uh, yeah, really fantastic views out the window when it's light and uh, real nice uh, cozy little space here at the Headland Hotel. Well, good morning from room 401 here at the Headland Hotel. Um, you can probably still hear the wind. It's still going. It's been going worse than this during the night. Um, this room was sold to us on the basis that they really didn't want to put us in it because it is very noisy up here, but we chose to, to use this room. All their other rooms are a lot, lot quieter in the winds. Uh, we stayed in one for a couple of nights and uh, no issues at all. Um, so we, we did choose this one. So don't think that all the rooms at the Headland are like this. They're certainly not. Um, but look at that view, that is absolutely spectacular. And the noise of that wind as well. So uh, this is the third night of three. We had two really good nights here before and uh, last night was good as well. Just something different to do. And uh, managed about six hours sleep. So that wasn't too bad at all, to be honest. Pretty similar to the, to the uh, usual um, that I manage at home. So uh, yeah, so there you go. Just check out that view uh, from room 401 at the West Tower overlooking the, uh, the Atlantic here at the Headland Hotel in Newquay. We really hope you enjoyed looking around the, the West Tower. It was a really good experience there. Looking around some other areas of the Headland Hotel, we've also got the Deck Restaurant, uh, which is a cafe, bar and restaurant. It also doubles up as the entrance to the Aqua Club, Cornwall's most luxurious swimming centre at the Headland Hotel. So if you are going to go to the hotel, make sure you book into that. It's really fantastic. They also have some cottages as well that you can stay in if uh, you're not too bothered about staying in the hotel rooms themselves. Good for larger groups as well. And also to prove that it does uh, sunshine um, at the Headland Hotel. And that's a lovely picture of the uh, south side of the hotel. There's also a play area as well, so if you've got um, children, uh, there's some slides there, some climbing frames as well for them to uh, burn off some energy. Um, also, we was there in January, but you've got an outside seating area for the nicer weather outside the bar and restaurant there. Really good there. If you're keen surfer, uh, you've got the surf sanctuary as well. Fistral Beach, which is right next to the hotel, is uh, really popular with surfers. One of the best surfing beaches uh, in the southwest. Um, so if you're into your surfing, do consider the Headland Hotel. At the time of filming, the main restaurant was uh, closed for refurbishment. Uh, so we ate at the Terrace restaurant. Doesn't that food look great? Let us know in the comments what you thought to the Headland Hotel. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it really helps us to grow the channel. Also, check out our video of the Fistral Beach Hotel and Spa, which is located just across the beach. The link to that is on the screen now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.